Worth the wait. Michelle Yeoh took her time to say, I do. The Oscar winner has married longtime love and former Ferrari CEO Jean Tote after a 19-year engagement. Formula One driver Felipe Massa shared Instagram photos from the intimate ceremony, which took place in Geneva earlier this week. A peek at the wedding program revealed that the bride and groom got engaged after a whirlwind romance. The paper read, We met in Shanghai on the 4th of June 2004. On the 26th of July 2004, JT proposed to marry MY and she said yes. Today, after 6,992 days, on the 27th of July 2023 in Geneva, surrounded by loving family and friends, we are so happy to celebrate this special moment together. Michelle's Academy Award was also a welcome guest at the festivities as she and John posed for selfies with Felipe while holding the trophy. The 60-year-old appeared to wear two chic looks for the occasion, a white skirt and matching silk blouse, and a fitted beige gown with a corset bodice. Happy marriage, Jean Tote and Michelle Yeoh. Love you so much, Felipe captioned his post alongside two red heart emojis. Neither Michelle nor Jean has publicly acknowledged their big news, but the newlyweds appear thrilled to be starting an important new chapter together. 2023 has been a landmark year for the acclaimed superstar. Back in March, Michelle became the first Asian woman to win the Best Actress Oscar, accepting the honor for her work in Best Picture, Everything Everywhere All at Once. 77-year-old Jean accompanied her to the A-list event where they posed on the red carpet. Her passionate acceptance speech from the Dolby Theatre stage went viral, especially for her inspiring remarks to women about confidence and pursuing your goals at every stage in life. Thank you, thank you. For all the little boys and girls who look like me watching tonight, this is a beacon of hope and possibilities, she said in part. This is proof that dream big and dreams do come true. And ladies, don't let anybody tell you you are ever past your prime. Never give up. Michelle went on to tell reporters backstage how proud she felt to have made history. This is actually a historical moment. So I really have to thank the Academy for acknowledging, embracing diversity and true representation. I think this is something that we have been working so hard towards for a very long time. And tonight, we frigging broke that glass ceiling. I kung fu'd it out and shattered it. And we need this because there are so many who have felt unseen, unheard. It's not just the Asian community. This is for the Asian community, but for anybody who's in, been identified as a minority, we deserve to be heard. We deserve to be seen. We deserve to have the equal opportunity so we can have a seat at the table. That's all we are asking for. Give us that opportunity. Let us prove we are worth it. Yeah.